sorry about the lighting um, because my tripod's just broken on me, so I'm quite angry. Um, but I want to show you my third um, shabby sheet project. Well, it's not really going to be a shabby project today, but I've got two projects this week to sort out for my business. And one, my first one, is going to be this corner cabinet. It's fairly modern, actually, this one. Um, and it's not a wood wooden veneer, but it's quite uh, drab in a um, dark brown. So the first thing I'm going to do is sand it down and then give it a prime of uh, white and, and then uh, some uh, chalk paint and varnish. So the first thing I'm going to do before I start cleaning it and everything is um, just grab some 80 grit sandpaper. Uh, and I'm also going to take the hardware off as well because normally I would paint it but I really want to keep it intact this time and it's gold. And the other thing I totally forgot to say is um, that if you remember my uh, video, um, my last video, um, I don't like to paint scrape off the glass sections because every time I've had a, a scratch because of it. And so I've just taped it completely up using masking tape and newspaper. Um, it is better to do this now rather than just, you know, you. I think before I was probably so desperate to paint a project and thought, oh, I'll just, I'll paint scrape it later. Um, but the preparation for this is so important. So um, I don't want any paint on my glass. And when I do, I'll just use some turps to, to get it off. So now I'm gonna sand it and then just take off any dust with a damp cloth and then give it its first coat. Just gonna fold it. You just want to take the shine off. So don't think too much into this. So when I come to paint it, um, I just keep basically king furniture with the sandpaper so the paint will adhere to it so much better. And it should last longer as well. Possibly painting this, I have uh, removed some of the hardware handles, but I thought the whole gold feature would come off completely, but it, it, it stuck there. So we've got the little handles just there. So I may just paint that, I, I don't know yet. So it's completely sanded down and I've gone over it with that cloth. So now we need to give it a first coat of primer and I'm going to use this Leyland's um, acrylic primer and undercoat. I think I got this from Screwfix, so I'll leave the links in the down bar. In fact, you can get this on Amazon. When it comes to a paintbrush, well, I've learned that you really need the biggest you can possibly manage for your project. So I've gone for this two inch one. It's quite a cheap one, for, again, from Screwfix. So I'm just gonna go over it with one coat of this so far, let it dry, and then come back and sand it. So I'm gonna paint it while all the doors close at the minute. So I've officially given it the first coat and I've painted myself too. So this is the kind of look um, you should be expecting at this stage and you shouldn't really have any drip marks around and now is the time to be catching them because um, it's too easy for somebody to say, oh, I'll sand it later, it will come off in chunks and then you'll probably need poly filler. So just wipe that edge off. In fact, I should just double check any around. I'm hungry so I'm gonna go for my lunch and I'll come back and give it a very very slight light sand take any rough edges off and then give it another coat. What I'm gonna do now is just gently and I mean gently go over with sandpaper just to see if there's any bumps that I don't want so this is literally gonna be a five minute job. I would recommend a 220 grit but um, we're renovating and I can't find any so I'm using 180, that's why I'm being even more careful, and I'm using a sanding block with a sponge on the top. So, like I say, don't go mad because it's a primer for a reason. So, I just don't want any rough edges, that's all, any bumps at all. So now it's got its second coat, so it's looking a lot better. Um, but it still needs a 
another coat and I believe it may need another coat after that you can still see some streaks and it's had a long time to dry so I'm going to sand the outside um, as you know I can't find a 220 grit sandpaper so I'm going to use a 320 quite extreme difference but I just want to get the brush strokes out if I can and any slight lumps and then I can focus on another paint job tomorrow Oops. and then sand again and hopefully it's time to varnish so I'm going to get my sanding block again yeah, just cut it into squares because sandpaper just doesn't last so I'm going to put it in squares and it goes slightly over. So make sure you've got the brush strokes all uniform if you can and if you see any little bits of hairs or anything like that you need to get them out as soon as you can. Now you need to get them out because they'll get stuck in the paintwork and when you come to sand them off then you'll still be left with them and you need to peel them out and then patch it up. It's quite irritating. You will always get little bits of hairs and dust no matter how much you Hoover your project and everything. So I've done, this is my last shelf, those are the other shelves I've still got to do underneath them and the back areas, but I focused on the doors outside first. So I wanted those to dry. I've already sanded it, I didn't film that, I just sanded it gently with 320 grit paper because I can't find 220 at the minute, I must have run out and um, I've dusted it down with a dry paintbrush so there's no dust on it whatsoever and I'm going to give it a second coat of white chalk paint and I have a feeling I'm going to need a third coat so it's good to paint it now, get it dry, re-sand it again and then do the hopefully a final coat because I don't want any um, streaks in this whatsoever. So I'm back on the Victorian white chalk paint so I'm going to give that a coat right now. Hopefully my final coat of chalk paint is done on the corner cabinet, so I'll just quickly show you that and I've um, just started filling in any dints and nicks um, on my vintage sideboard so I can get ready to paint that tomorrow. So there you go, it's looking so much better and hopefully I can, I'll also be sanding this soon as well when I get back. There you go. So I'm back and uh, the project is completely dry. Hi boy. Mm. And I've been out and bought some finishing paper. Now um, I have to say if you've got like a local hardware store somewhere generally cheap then that's probably one of the best places to buy uh, some paper or online because if you go to like mainstream shops like uh, B&Q, um, Home Base is one of the dearest for example, um, then I'd avoid those. And I paid $2.99 for an absolutely loads of sheets here, suitable for woodworking, paintwork, keying plaster and prep work. So the grade is fine, medium and coarse, so I'm going to go um, start sanding some of my brush strokes very gently and be careful as well not to do any of the corners and edges or I shall have to repaint them. I'm going to do this now, dust it down and give it a varnish. I'm so excited. It's almost done. And I can move on to this bad boy here, the uh, sideboard. Just there, not that dog. Although he can be a bad boy. Uh, that bad boy there, that sideboard there. I, I'm excited about that. So, right, I'll see you in a bit because my phone is really low on power. So it's now the evening and I've just finished uh, one coat of varnish, which is the Bronze Seal Super Gel. Um, I've given it a thin coat and I'm gonna leave it to dry now. So I have shown you before in my last um, two videos a varnishing process, so I won't show you again. So I'll show you it up close, leaving it to dry till tomorrow. So there you go, hopefully you can see that okay. I'll just show you close up if you can see a bit of a shine. This will dry in a satin, uh, finish. 
and then once it's dry I'm going to peel off the um, newspapers and um, make sure there's no lumps and bumps. So I'm glad this is over!